Welcome to my recap of the Court of the Rings Q&A with Severlin on October 22nd. I know it's been over a week since this happened, but with Gundabad beta and a lot of other stuff, I kind of now only found the time to do this. In any case, I'm going to go through the most important bullet points that were being discussed and brought up in this stream. What is the plan after Gundabad release? Obviously, they're gonna work on releasing instances and the raid. I doubt we'll see any instances on release, but probably a few weeks after we'll see three mans, and then a few weeks after that we'll see six mans, and probably closer to the new year we'll get the raid. They mentioned that they had a festival coming up, I'm assuming they mean the Yule Festival in December, and then when discussing plans even further, they actually did mention the crafting and kinship revamp, that they do really want to do some work there. But this will most likely be sometime next year if they decide to go for this. Obviously they talked about traceries a bit. The main idea is that new area, or like new release, we're going to have new traceries that we need to acquire to become stronger. They did mention that maybe traceries will even be craftable in the future. Obviously that's something they could do that would be interesting. Maybe even unique traceries to be craftable, that would be cool. And Severlin kind of went through the acquiring process. The main idea is that you do need to run harder content or work harder for the better essences. So obviously doing high tier raids should be giving you gold traceries. They're also going to bring the reward track for the, like the LI system overall, where you can earn XP into and get rewards. That's probably going to be another way to earn gold traceries but like i said obviously you need to work harder and do harder content for the best stuff starting from landscape to instances and to raids they also talked a bit about the obsolete ally items like scrolls of empowerment starlit crystals and it seems to be the main idea is to be able to break down those items to new material for your allies we already saw Starly Crystals being able to be broken down into Enhancement Runes on live, but it's giving level 86, which is way too low and not useful at all. Hopefully in the future they can fix that to be on level. They also said they hope we will be able to deconstruct like all the items with the Gundabad release, but if not, it will be a few weeks later. For a while, items were binding when you slotted new essences in them, but this has been fixed on live. It's no longer a problem. They said they were aware and it's already been fixed. I know people who already had this bug happen to them. Those items have not been fixed, but hopefully in the future they will be, but you no longer need to be afraid of slotting bound to account essences into your gear, fearing that it'll get bound. They talked about Brawler, they know the DPS is really really low, at the moment Brawler is probably the weakest class out of all the classes with their DPS. And of course, it being a new class, they want Brawler to be good for whenever we get the instances. It did get buffed on live, but it's still really really weak and need a lot more buffs. They also talked about skill icons. Brother is using a lot of placeholder, like champion skill icons, but they said new skill icons will come in the future. One positive that was being discussed is hobbies, and it's nice to see that they're actually, they have new hobbits in mind. The only thing that was said about this was that one of them was very lore intensive, whatever that means, and the other one is about finding rare birds. I think that sounds pretty cool. It'd be like a bird collector. 
but it's nice to see that they're thinking about the hobbies. Because we definitely can use more hobbits than just fishing. They talked about lag. Obviously, they're constantly working to fix and adjust. It is a problem for this game that from time to time you'll find yourself freezing up or being lagged a bit. One thing Sev said is that they hope to get 64-bit versions of servers, which will give more memory, and hopefully by the end of the year they will be able to implement that. And they also know they need to upgrade their hardware. Mounted combat was also being discussed a bit. There is no plans for new ally bridles for the new system. So pretty much what they're saying is there's not going to be any work on mounted combat. It's going to be left as is. They don't want to remove mounted combat, which I agree with because it's a really good way for players to travel fast and it should stay in the game. But I think there's no point putting more effort into the system. It's fine the way it is for fast travel, but let's focus on improving other parts of the game. If you've been playing the game lately, you might have noticed gold spammers who are able to get around the ignore function. You can ignore them, but you will still see the messages. They are aware and they are looking to fix this as soon as possible. And finally, we have a bunch of different news. They did discuss fall damage in the game. You know, when you fall from high up, you can break your leg and it can be up to a minute with slowed run speed. They were looking to maybe, I wouldn't say remove, but decrease the broken leg effect. Maybe duration, maybe how slow we are. I think the fall damage is fine. There should be a penalty for jumping far down. And if you jump too far, obviously you die. I think that's fine too. But I wouldn't mind the broken leg being a bit faster. River Hobbits is most likely going to be the next race that they will do. They also talked about the quest tracker and maybe increasing the slots. I like this a lot. Right now you're limited to having 5 slots maximum on your tracker. They said maybe this could be increased to like 10 and the epic quest could maybe have its own special slot. So maybe you could have one epic quest and nine normal quests on your tracker. I would I wouldn't mind that. That'd be nice. The curator returns October 25th to November 1st. Obviously this video is a bit late. So one more day if you need something from the curator, if you need a training dummy or something, go buy it now. And finally, they mentioned a Bombadil server is definitely an option to do that again in the future. That's it for this report. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.